Hey guys, so in this short video I will discuss Hertz and how higher Hertz can affect your gameplay. But Maxime, will the Hertz of a monitor affect my FPS? The answer is no, because they are not controlling the same thing. FPS, also known as frames per second, is how many images your graphics card produces per second. Hertz, also known as refresh rate, is the number of times your monitor is capable of displaying per second. So if you have a 60 Hertz monitor and 120 FPS in game, you can only display 60 FPS. And if you have a 120 Hz monitor with only 60 FPS in game, you can still only display 60 FPS. Sometimes you can control this in specific games. For Counter Strike, you can right click on Global Offensive, go to Properties, go to Launch Options, and type Refresh like this. Here you can enter, for example, 144, but as a thumb rule, you should not use a value your monitor can't handle. If you're not sure what your monitor is capable of, you need to search the internet and check for yourself. For gaming, I'm using the BenQ XL2411Z, and if I look it up online, I can see that it supports 144Hz. So now you're probably wondering why it's better to have more Hertz in game. Most people will just say that it feels more smooth. I think there's more to it than that and I believe that there's two primary advantages of using more Hertz when playing. Number one, it makes it easier to read specific patterns or movements in game. And two, it helps with reaction time. Let's start by explaining number one. When you face an enemy, and he's strafing left and right to avoid taking damage, landing headshots in this scenario is very frustrating. On 60Hz, the monitor renders movements that can look a bit jaggery and flickery to the human eye, and can be seen as a small disadvantage compared to higher Hertz. Here you can see why it makes a difference. This is a very small difference but what do you think? Now, advantage number two was improving your reaction time. To demonstrate this, I played this map and set the reflex duration time to 0.2 seconds. I played it 90 times with 60 hertz and 90 times with 144 hertz and used an energy drink and lots of bananas to help me focus. I also made sure to switch my hertz in between to make sure that I'm consistent on both values. I'm gonna put the map in the description, but I wouldn't recommend doing what I just did because it was kind of boring. So in the end, we can probably all agree that using more Hertz while playing fast games like Counter-Strike can be beneficial and in some cases give you a slightly better advantage. What do you guys think about this? Thanks for watching, this was Maxime, stay awesome and go bananas!